If you're looking for a video on a specific topic, simply type in what you're looking for in my channel's search bar, and if I have videos addressing that topic, it will take you right to them. Enjoy! What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is another PA Q&A Tuesday. Thank you for everybody that is participating and leaving your comments. I'm having a great time answering these questions for you guys. So if you have any questions that you want answered on the next PA Q&A Tuesday, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below right now. Can you get HCE through volunteering? So HCE being healthcare experience, can you get that through volunteering like at a hospital? From my understanding, yes, you can get healthcare experience through volunteering because you're in the healthcare field. So um, healthcare experience, according to CASPA, is anything that is like in the healthcare field. So being like a candy striper, I don't even know if they're still called that, but you know, volunteering, that kind of stuff. You are getting healthcare experience, but most schools require patient care experience, which is your PCE, where they want to make sure that, hey, you're actually like getting direct hands-on experience with the patient. So you are like drawing blood like a phlebotomist. You are taking blood pressure, giving them their pills. If you're a GNA and you're able to pass out pills, that kind of thing. Um, if you're a nurse and you're able to direct their care that way and make up a care plan, if you're an EMT or a firefighter and you're pulling people out of burning houses and giving them oxygen and you know hitting them with some epi, that kind of stuff. So when you're looking at your schools that you're applying to, just make sure that they say um, that they, they are specifying and you know if you for whatever reason have some type of question with regards to what exactly they require, be it healthcare experience or patient care experience, call them because you don't want to apply and you just volunteered but they actually required you to have patient care experience, okay? So just make sure that you're able to make that distinguishment. Adana, can you share your thoughts on wearing scrubs versus business wear during didactic gear? By the way, your laughter with your husband was great in the beginning. I also liked the introduction at 10 seconds. <laughs> No, oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, my thoughts on wearing, you know, casual or business. So my particular program, we do business attire. We do like casual wear, where we're able to wear like scrubs or the school shirts or sweaters and jeans on particular days that we don't have guest speakers. And then we also do it on Tuesdays. If we do have a guest speaker, then as long as all of us are in our gray like school scrubs, which is kind of like a uniform, then we're able to do that. I'm fine with it. Like I'm okay with wearing business attire. I mean, it's what I know. Yeah, there are days when I'm like, dang, like I wish I could just go to school in jeans and a t-shirt. Um, I wish I don't have to truly put that much thought into what I'm wearing today. Hey, it's what I what I do. I think it's really nice. I think we look really professional. I think it's nice when people from the outside of the school come in and they see us and we're in our business wear and we're walking around with our badges and or we're at the clinic with our business wear and we're in our stethoscopes and white coats. I think it looks nice. So I'm okay with that. For schools that don't necessarily require business attire, that's fine as well to each their own. But for me, it's what I know and I like the business wear. I would, don't get me wrong, I would appreciate a little bit more days of casual just because it's easier to just throw on some scrubs or um, you know, put on some jeans, but I, I don't think it really matters. Question, can I retake my prerequisites at a community college? Do they mind? Of course you can take your <laughs> prerequisites at a community college. No, they do not mind. I think it's just a matter of your credit hours. So you just be sure to have like your syllabus available and ready if any school wants to question. Like, did you learn what exactly like they wanted you to learn? Um, was it hard enough? But I retook the majority of my prerequisites at a community college because for one, it was cheaper than doing it at a four year college and for two, I mean, I already did it at my bachelor, you know, in my undergraduate bachelor's degree. Why do I need to do it again at another four year college for 500 plus dollars in credit hour when I can do it at a community college for like 100, 200 plus, you know, like 
in that range, like 100 to 200. So no, yeah, I don't think they look at, like they look down on that. Just as long as if they say, hey, you need a four credit anatomy and physiology, you make sure that anatomy and physiology is four credits. If you need three credits or four credits of biochemistry, make sure that your biochemistry is that up to that level. Um, and then there should be no reason why they would not accept that as their prerequisite. Were there people in your life you had to break contact with who were naysayers and tried to make you consider something else other than PA school? Yes, there was, there were people in my life that I had to like cut out. And you know, I mean, I don't know, like I'm that chick that where it's like, look, like no skin off my back, like peace out. Like if you don't wanna be my friend, if you don't wanna support what I'm doing, like that's fine, like I'm not gonna miss it, right? Like there's nothing in this world that I'm like, okay, this is too much. Like God, like if God was like, look, I'm done with you chick, then that would be a problem. But for somebody to be like, yo, I don't like what you're doing, I think you should be a doctor. Like I don't really care what you think I should be because I wanna be happy and this is for me, this is not for you. So there were people that were naysayers that were like, oh, I think you should just do the doctor thing. You should, I mean, why don't you go ahead and be a real doctor? doctor, that kind of stuff that I'm, I don't rock with anymore. I, I'm not rolling with those people and that's fine. Like I haven't even given them a second thought because the people that are in my life that support me, that help me through this journey, those are really who are I'm rolling with. Those are my ride or die. My husband is a great support system. But yes, I did cut some people out and that's fine. I'm okay with it. It's not really that serious. Um, the people that I have in my life right now supporting me is great and I love them to death. And guys, it's gonna pay off. <laughs> Your support is gonna pay off. So yeah. All right. Another one, thank you guys so much for leaving these questions. I really, really love answering them. So if you have any questions that you want for the next PA Q&A Tuesday, leave that in the comment section below right now. And like this video right now and subscribe to my channel right now and follow me on Instagram right now. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I'll talk to you guys next time.